right so what we want to do is first of all create our git repository in here so as you can see i've created one i'm just going to quickly copy this and then go into my terminal go into the relevant folder that you want and then in here all we need to do is run git clone so git clone and then paste in what we've just copied so now this will create the folder for us so now all we need to do is ls and then the folder we've named is the react component library over here so all we need to do is cd into that and then do code space dot and this will open a vs code terminal up for us so now let's get go ahead and get started so let me close everything down and first of all what we want to do is initialize the app with npm so let's open the terminal so a new terminal in here we want to first of all check the node version so let's do node dash v and we need to change to node version 18 so we do this with mvm so now let's clear our terminal and we want to run npm in it and now we'll get asked a few questions in here so the first one is the package name we already have that the version I'm going to do as 0.01 because we're still developing it. Description is going to be, this is a React component library. And we can add some more description in there, but let's just keep it as that for now. We're going to have an entry point of index.js, but again, we will reconfigure everything in the app. And again, we've got the Git repository already, so we can keep that in. If you want to add any keywords you can do and the license i'm just going to do mit and everything's okay so let's just press yes so now we'll have a package json file here and it has all of our information in of what we need we're going to delete this script for now we don't need any scripts just yet and we are going to get started with setting everything up now the first thing what i want to do is install typescript so let's go ahead and do that so essentially we will keep it simple we will use npm in this build so it will be everything as a dev dependency so essentially because it's a component library and not an app when we ship to production and upload it to npm all of the dependencies won't be needed so we only need the dependencies as dev dependencies so again let's install typescript so npm i dash dash save dash dev and typescript like so and then now we need to initialize TypeScript. So control R and it's NPX TSC init. So that's the best way to do it. So if you do control R, if you use the command before, then what happens is it finds the command for you. And then you can essentially whatever the command is, even if you forgot the command. So that's a handy tool to use. So MPX TSC in it like that. And now this generates a TypeScript file for us. Now what I'm going to do is just bring in the file with all the configurations in and then I'll explain them. So let me just quickly copy this across. So now here we've got compiler options and it's got all of the comments in as well. So what I'm going to do is quickly just split it out. So this section here is the language and environment. The language and environment is ES next, what we're going to be setting it as. So essentially the target specifies the version of ECMAScript. Now ES next is the latest version. So as you can see here, we can see more information in here, but essentially we want the latest version of ECMAScript. And the ECMAScript version is basically what type of version this tra our TypeScript code should compile to. So in our case, it's the latest version, and that is the first one. The second one is very important because we're using JSX in our React app. Essentially, this is saying that TypeScript should handle JSX within our React app as well. Then we move on to modules over here again the latest version which is es next for the modules specify what module code is generated and then the module resolution is node so basically we want to use the module resolution that is similar to the node style so that's why we choose node in here this one's quite self-explanatory allow js is false we only want to use typescript so that's what we will be doing this one's not important but essentially it's basically saying how far deep in do, do you want to go into the node module folder so this is just one level deep and again this is important but this part here is where we would need to essentially concentrate and focus on the most so 
this is the section here which is the emit the first one of declaration of true this is important because when we import the project or the library into an, our own projects then we want to be able to access the types because TypeScript serves as the documentation. So this will generate the d.ts file. So when we have a types.ts, essentially this will then, TypeScript will then transpile it into a definition file for us to consume in our app that we import this npm package into this one only outputs the declaration files and not the javascript files source map of true because this helps with the debugging of the javascript code when it's transpiled and then the directory that we want to put our build files into is going to be slash dist which we will look at later on the declaration directory for our types for typescript is going to be in the types folder and then that is that section there complete there's more up here but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave it with you guys and then you can essentially do your own research on it but these are all the configurations that we need for us to be able to build with our library and essentially these are the configurations we will be using last one actually is going to be skip lib check of true so basically when we are doing our chat type checks this lib check basically ignores the node modules folder so therefore when we are doing our type checks we're not looking in the node module folder it's not actually needed that's why we ignore it again we add our git ignore and ignore the node modules folder as well so what i'm going to do actually do is add a git ignore folder as well and in here we're just going to add the node modules because we want to actually ignore that so let me just save everything and now that is the first step complete if essentially what we've done is we've installed typescript and now we have initialized typescript in our project so now if we go in here in dev dependencies we have typescript installed in here we also want peer dependencies so let me just essentially add that in and the peer dependency is basically that the other package that's using this library, they need this same dependency as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the node version or the React version, should I say, of 16. So it's essentially, it has to be grayer or equal to React version 16. So let me save that. So now we've got TypeScript set up, let's go ahead and build some components. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and build a component and see how we handle everything in there. So we'll do that next.